This is how we can do fast water changes. Everything is a prototype. Everything is constantly like trying to make something better. This is a float table we have here. We have it filled up with our friend, Mr. Frogbit. This started out three weeks ago with one little tiny portion about that big, grew like crazy. Now, what we're doing here that's different than the Red Root floater basins is underneath here, we have probably a 300 gallon, we'll call it a sump basin, low light basin. We're gonna grow Java fern, Java moss, and that sort of thing underneath there. But you can see this bulkhead fitting here. Let's say up here gets contaminated, something happens, someone spills something, or it just gets an insane amount of algae. We'll isolate the bottom basin, put this in here, like so. Pull that out. Well, that water is now not going down into the main basin and is cleaning it out. So we can stir something up without disrupting the main water supply. And then we can also fill the other ones simultaneously with fresh water, which is what we're doing right now. So what's super fun is that it's all about water volume. So here we have the upper water volume, which is good. This is probably 100 gallons of water, but underneath having 300 gallons of water, we now have a 400 gallon system that slowly circulates the water. What does that do? What more room for more nutrients to be uh, in the water column. You don't starve them or whatever. And then two, it's good for temperature swings. So we don't have to worry about temp swings because we have the system all connected. 400 gallon body of water holds temps way better. And it's a more stable environment for the plants. A lot of fun happening with the double decker right here.